Hi guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise somewhere deep in the heart of the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York on this over the top beautiful summer day Monday morning July 29th 2019 and uh Good God, what I've got to go deal with. I don't know if you saw that little video I did yesterday about that that uh, storm that slammed through here. You can imagine what my tent looks like. What my tent, my memory foam mattress looks like an overgrown dish sponge. Good God, what a mess. And now I've learned that I have a battle with the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles looming that says I need to be in Austin, Texas to get my picture taken for my new driver's license. So I will soon have no driver's license. My... Everything I own is a big soggy mess good god almighty so I've got plenty on my plate so uh, before I dive into all of that I'm gonna do what I what I haven't done in a week <coughs> and that's really to dive into the mainstream media news okay you guys this is apparently j j this is an average day on the mainstream media news on this beautiful Monday morning and we all know what uh, Monday July 29th 2019 is well it's not every July 29th and next year it'll probably be around July 27th we are of course talking about Earth Overshoot today as this planet of clueless fucking morons celebrates the earliest Earth overshoot day in history. And uh, several stories on this. Here is Quartz Magazine. Earth overshoot day is earlier than ever this year, and it underestimates the crisis. Yes, it does underestimates the crisis how is the French news service playing up earth overshoot day earth's 2019 resources budget already spent hmm imagine that <clears throat> mankind will have will have used up its allowance of natural resources such as water, soil, and clean air for all of 2019 by today, Monday, July 2019, according to uh, this report by, who is it by, would be the Global Footprint Network. Uh, Earth Overshoot Day has moved up by two months over the past 20 years, and this year's date is the earliest ever. The equivalent of 1.75 planets would be required to produce enough to meet humanity's needs at current consumption rates, which of course are growing and growing and growing and growing. Uh, is quoting the report, quote, the costs of this global ecological overspending are becoming increasingly evident in the form of deforestation, soil erosion, biodiversity loss, or the buildup of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Yes. Calculated since 1986, the grim milestone has arrived earlier each year. In 1993, it fell on October 21st and moved to September 22nd, 
by 2003, was down to August 2nd two years ago. Here we are, uh, the earliest ever on July 29th, said Mathis Wackernagel, founder of Global Footprint Network, quote, We have only got one Earth. This is the ultimately defining context for human existence. We can't use 1.75 Earths without destructive consequences. Yep, yep, yep. And of course, one of the destructive consequences being climate change going into tipping points. This is Reuters news. Reuters news, guys. This is not, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe Reuters news has turned into a bunch of eco-Nazis. Think the heat wave was bad? Climate already hitting key tipping point. Did you realize our climate system is nearing dangerous tipping points and that our window to cut emissions may be, may be smaller than we thought and I love the, the opening line for a mainstream media article on climate change in 2019. Shall we all just kill ourselves? Shall we all just kill ourselves is the question being posed by Reuters News in the mainstream media in the summer of 2019. This was Actually, this was a quote by British stand-up Carl Donnelly. Uh, yep, this is a source of British humor. Shall we all just kill ourselves? Yes, and what this is, guys, is the latest article building up all of this momentum for these unadulterated horseshit climate talks taking place at the end of 2020. You're going to be seeing more and more and more of this in the, in the mainstream and not so mainstream media news, how the United Nations uh, has 18 months to come up with a plan to save the planet. Yes. With temperature records tumbling daily in last week's European heat wave. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, that foretaste of a radically hotter world underscored what is at stake in a decisive phase, a decisive phase of talks to implement the 2015 Paris Agreement. Yes, what Reuters News is defining the 2015 Paris Agreement as, quote, a collective shot at avoiding climate breakdown. Yes, with study after study showing climate impacts from extreme weather to polar melt and sea level rise outstripping initial forecast, which is another way of saying faster and worse than previously thought, with study after study telling us that we are much more fucked much sooner than we thought. Uh, negotiators have a fast closing window, a fast closing window to try to turn the aspirations agreed in Paris into meaningful outcomes. Oh, yes. And uh, so what, did we have tipping points in that? <clears throat> yes, we have climate already hitting key tipping points. And now we have uh, <clears throat> Amazon deforestation is accelerating under Bozo Naro and scientists fear 
a tipping point. We have two uh, mentions of tipping points in this morning's mainstream media news uh, from the Amazon jungle which is getting ready to tip from uh, a rainforest into basically a big uh, soy farm I think is the tipping point or a big gold mine. <clears throat> The latest data from Brazilian satellites, which of course uh, Bozo Naro is claiming is being manipulated by environmentalists. Yes, the latest data from Brazilian satellites shows that deforestation of the Brazilian Amazon is accelerating, hmm. leading experts to fear that the rainforest could be approaching a tipping point in which it cannot recover. Yes, the loss amounts to more than three football fields per minute, and deforestation so far in July has hit 519 square miles, according to preliminary data. <clears throat> Scientists fear <coughs> that past a certain point of deforestation, the rainforest could be in jeopardy of degrading into a savanna. And I think I have my interview with uh, forest biologist Bill Lawrence. I'm going to be running uh, next Sunday. I think Bill is up. I am so backlogged in my interview pipeline where I talk with Bill a lot about this. And uh, I'm th as I recall, I, I think what scientists are saying is, uh, I'm trying to recall the interview, that there's some debate somewhere between 25 and 40 <coughs> percent want somewhere between 25 to 40 percent of the Amazon rainforest has been deforested. It's just going to tip over into a dried up grassland, which of course the soy farmers is exactly what they want. And I think we're right about 21 to 23 percent as uh, Bozo Naro takes the reins of the lungs of the planet. So we've got two tipping points. As long as we're down there in the shithole country of Brazil, wow, imagine this headline in the mainstream media today. <clears throat> Brazil miners kill tribal leader in Amazon land invasion. Armed miners have reportedly invaded a village in a remote part of Brazil and killed its tribal leader. The villagers fled but were planning to return, sparking fears of a bloodbath according to reports. Uh, the violence began last week when the indigenous leader was stabbed to death uh, in an area belonging to the Wayapi tribe in northern Brazil. It came as around 20 miners were said to have overrun the village of Marire. Yes, the leader's body was found with stab wounds in a river. Yes. Uh, there you go. Uh, Brazil's tribal people have long faced pressure from miners, ranchers, and loggers and activists say the threats have intensified since Jair Bozonaro, the pro-business president, took power in January 
vowing to increase development in the Amazon rainforest. Yes, the Wayapi live deep inside the Amazon in an area rich in gold, <coughs> manganese, iron, and copper. <coughs> Their territory is one of hundreds Brazil's government demand demarcated in the 1980s for the exclusive use of indigenous inhabitants and access by outsiders is strictly regulated. They were saying reports last week that 20,000 miners have invaded indigenous territories in Brazil since January. Uh, reports of the attack emerged as Mr. Bozo Naro <clears throat> once again defended mining in the Amazon, highlighting what he called the, quote, absurd quantity of minerals there. Yes, Bozo Naro said he is looking for the, quote, first world to help Brazil exploit the Amazon rainforest and of course the first world is jumping at the invitation let the blood bath begin okay what is Associated Press explaining to us this week AP explains how big a threat is an electromagnetic attack. Yes, and the answer when you finally get to it, somewhere 90% of the article. Okay, how much of a threat does an electromagnetic pulse attack pose? It depends <clears throat> on who you ask. While the technology to launch an electromagnetic attack exists and the impacts could cause widespread damage to electronics, some security experts believe the likelihood of such an attack is low and the threat is overstated, while others are convinced that an electromagnetic attack could wipe out vast swaths of the U.S. power grid for prolonged periods, potentially killing most Americans. Yes, the Electric Power Research Institute, a think tank funded primarily by utilities, found in an April study that an electromagnetic pulse could trigger regional service interruptions, but would not likely trigger a nationwide grid failure across the U.S. I guess we shall see as some 15-year-old Hindu boy living in a mud hut in Pakistan is no doubt working on it right now. But guys, the, the sun is getting ready to blind me, and this is my signal that I need to uh, head down to my soggy-ass tent and survey the damage. So we're going to wrap up uh, with, with this story, many versions of this story. I think, yes, this is Fox News video. <laughs> Disney World guests angry rant about childless millennials flooding the park goes viral. The anonymous mom says people without children should be banned from Disney's parks. I, I agree uh, with uh, the clueless... Uh, uh, the clueless moron breeder. Everyone should be banned from Disney parks. Oh, Jesus. 
childless millennials hallelujah to the childless millennials but anyway guys I, I could go on with it this, this this is the morning headlines in the mainstream media news of course the number one headline today I guess there was a mass shooting uh, not at a Disney park, at the Gilroy Garlic Festival, which I have actually been to a few times. The Gilroy Garlic Festival, if you had to pick, you know, like a Mayberry event, you know, I mean, the, the poster child of these clueless fucking moron, little small town, uh, you know, little music and arts festivals that all these uh, towns all over the country do. The Gilroy Garlic Festival. Uh, I guess three people gunned down. The suspect shot dead. Y you know, guys, we're fucked. You can't go to the fucking Gilroy Garlic Festival anymore without getting a goddamn bullet in your head. Anyway, uh, it is a gorgeous day here in the Finger Lakes. And I'm going to take my soggy little dog and check out uh, the soggy ruins of my life. And then uh, start my war with the Texas Department of Public Safety who is suggesting I am getting ready to lose my license to drive my gas sucking truck unless I get my ass back to Austin, Texas to get my new photograph taken. Oh, does this fucking bullshit ever end? Get out there and enjoy Earth Overshoot Day in this collapsing planet of tipping points while you still can and you need to go get some chippy points. Is there chippy points? Or not? I